All righty. So, uh, I'm doing this on a Mac today, uh, just because my computer's dead and it's charging, and I didn't feel like turning it on. I figured I'd give it a little bit of a break. This has been on for quite some time. Uh, so, yes, this answers your questions about Macintosh. I do have a Mac now, uh, running 10.28 El Capitan. Uh, but uh, today I'm going to be sharing some PS3 information with you uh, for the uh, Rebug 4.80.1 uh, CEX base and DEX base custom firmwares. Both of the uh, download uh, links will be in the description below as well as the process of step-by-step uh, -step procedure on how to install this. Uh, but yeah, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to download these, well one of these files. Uh, this uh, the Rebug 4 801 uh, Rex is uh, the CEX base version of this custom firmware and uh, the 48001 uh, D-Rex is the uh, obviously the uh, DEX version of this custom firmware, the DEX version. Uh, so what you're going to do based upon on what console you have, whether you're running DEX or CEX, you're going to uh, pick which one you're going to want to download. If you're on CEX, you're going to want to install the Rex version. Now, the reason why it's called Rex, if anybody's asking that question, is because Rex actually enables uh, the uh, the rebug tools to be able to downgrade and swap out your MD5 codes so that you way is, uh, excuse me, so that way you can install DEX based custom firmware and do a lot more stuff with it. Uh, I will be having some videos coming out for DEX based custom firmwares. Uh, everything is relatively the same. The only difference is is CEX is a finalized version of custom firmware and DEX is a demo version of that custom firmware. So there may be bugs, there may not be. That's the only difference between custom firmware. If you're inexperienced with running plugins or installing modifications or doing uh, certain demos with homebrews and stuff like that, I would recommend staying on CEX based custom firmware. That's what usually everybody uses. Uh, I only messed around with DEX based for some time uh, just simply to try it out and uh, try and produce some of my homebrew of my own, which I do have a few things out there which I will be getting to. But first and foremost, so after you download one of these files, depending on what custom firmware you're running, you're going to want to install, um, or not install, but uh, pop in one of your uh, flash drives to your PC. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I got too much shit in the way for me to pop in my flash drive here. So hold on one side. I need a light in the back here. I got to find it. <laughs> Can't even see. Got it. Okay. All right, so once your flash drive pops up, which Mac is nice and it pops up right on the dashboard there, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take one of these files and, uh, well, actually, I could probably get rid of these things here. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Move that to trash and move this to trash. Okay, so we have a PS3 folder, all capitals. Uh, so you create that folder. Then inside that folder, you're going to want to create an update folder. And then inside that update folder is where you're going to put your uh, custom firmware installation. So uh, I'm running CEX base on my PS3, so I'm just going to drag and copy this over to there. Uh, on Mac, you'll get your fancy little loading bar of copying and allow that to copy over like so. Now also, there's going to be another video coming out. There is a new version of uh, Multiman uh, 481.0 uh, I will be uh, going over. And also going over installation of the Stealth codec for uh, the uh, Multiman. So that way any of you that are not banned and are spoofing your MAC address and your console ID uh, so you can log online to the PlayStation Network, uh, that will be all uh, set up for you so you're not detected by... Uh, uh, multi-man and multi-man is pretty nice now because now you can like disconnect from the internet install the stealth version and now you don't have to like boot up multi-man anymore to boot up the stealth version of multi-man and then reconnect you can just stay connected all the time now and just boot up your stealth multi-man all right so anyway so now that you copied this uh basically what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna move this to the trash here because I don't need that anymore so we're just looking at our rebug firmware here what you're gonna do is 
you can already see that I have the back hash labeled PS3 updat.pup. What I just want you to do is just take the, uh, the oh, come on, just take the rebug underscore four eight zero one rex underscore out of there, uh, backspace that, and rename it as the uh, PS3 updat.pup. So once you've done that, uh, all we're going to do now is go to the uh, PS3 and install this. Alright, so here we are, PS3. Apologize for the wobbliness, but I'm on my phone right now because I don't have a uh, PSP to use a remote play so I can screen cap with a remote joy on uh, my computer. And uh, I don't have a capture card at the moment, so I'm just going to kind of hold the controller here and Hope that I don't shake too much. So, uh, basically what you're going to do after is uh, you remove your USB from your computer and uh, you plug it into your uh, PlayStation. Don't matter which uh, USB drive, what you're going to do is you're going to select System Update. Now, if you're already on 4.8.0, uh, you can just uh, swap back and forth between CEX based custom firmwares. As you'll see, you'll see the 4.8.0.1 PS3 update. So we're just going to select that right there and uh, allow it to do its thing. So it's going to copy the uh, data to the system storage. Also, you can also, um, really, I just said that twice. Um, you can store the individual PS3 updates uh, on the HDD drive of your PlayStation 3. So if you want to continue to swap back and forth between CEX-based custom firmwares, you can stash them on the root of your HDD, your HDDO, uh, which I'll show you in Multiman in a second, uh, just to uh, go through it with you. Um, so that way you could swap, like you could have Rogero or Fairfox or uh, um, Hobby Rebug. Um, what was the other one? Cobra made it one singular firmware one time. Uh, so there's. Uh, you know, you can save that to your HD and swap back and forth between the CEX based custom firmwares. Aside from that, it really doesn't really serve too much of a principle. So, we're going to let this do its thing. It's going to boot back up now. You're going to have to hit the PS button on your uh, PlayStation controller and allow it to sync up. And now it's going to check for the update data. Once it checks for the update data, Bum, 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 Come on. And I apologize if this takes a little while, but I always like to just film the whole thing and uh, you know, give you a little induendos here and there. All right, so if you haven't pressed your PS button, it's probably going to ask you to press your PS button, and then it's going to start the installation. So now that it's starting the installation of the uh, Rebug 4.80.1 uh, Rex slash actual CEX based custom firmware onto my console uh, we're good to go base all right so this firmware consists of it has a Cobra driver in it so uh, you should be able to run your PS2 emulation smoothly on non backwards compatible models uh, it'll run PS1 just fine also same thing backup manager all that all nine yards uh, Compatibility with Blu-ray ISOs and DVD ISOs have been installed and um, inputted into the uh, firmware, as well as um, that little handy dandy if you have any uh, movies that you saved to your PlayStation and they come up with that little uh, message that says they can't show the audio on them or whatever uh, because of like copyright reasons or something, uh, it gets rid of that. Uh, if you're still having issues with that and you have problems with it with your DVD ISOs, uh, I'd recommend getting the DVD um, unlocker, uh, which I'll make a video on that as well. Uh, it's um, um, who what the forms that posted that up a couple days ago. I don't remember, but I'll have the information in the next video. So while we're sitting here, I'm just going to ramble on and on about uh, important crucial information. Oh yeah, Rebug Toolbox has been updated. Uh, which I also will have in the link description below and uh, You can throw that on the root of your memory stick and uh, have that be the uh, Installation for the toolbox. Uh, I won't necessarily make a video on it because it's kind of included in this firmware It's also DEX and CEX based compatible 
uh, so you don't have to worry about installing a specific one on a specific version of uh, Rebug custom firmware. So you should be good there. Other than that, regardless, I will have the link below. And uh, like I said, you just download the package file, put it on the root of the memory stick, and then plug it into your PS3 and go to install package files. And if you don't have install package files on your home screen, you can download that from inside Multiman. Uh, if you go over to the web, you'll see it. You can install it's uh, install package files 2.0. That will install it to your uh, XMB. If you don't want it on your XMB, you can always install manually from Multiman as well. Although that might arise some uh, complications because you kind of need that on the XMB if you don't have Multiman installed. That usually helps a lot. Like for me, when I installed the custom firmware for the first time and I needed Multiman, I uh, I had Rebug custom firmware and it's already on the XMB, so I didn't have to worry about that. Alright, so we're rebooting here, so hit the PS button on your PlayStation controller one more time so it syncs up. And you'll see the Rebug logo come up, so that means we successfully installed the Rebug custom firmware. I'm going to log in as my software reborn here. And just for shits and giggles. Everything's red because they like their red theme. I don't know why. And uh, I guess it goes with the Rebug logo. And I'll just scroll down here to system settings and we'll scroll down here to system information. And I don't care about any of the information being shown because it doesn't really matter. But there you go. So there's all my information. Whoop de fucking do, right? Okay. Goodbye. Because this console's already been banned and we don't need to worry about nothing. So, alright. Except for my IP. But, I mean. I get an IP that changes every fucking 15 seconds. So, uh, let's see. Going in the long run. Alright, so. Coming down here. And uh, we'll just open up the uh, 4.80 Multiman. Again, like I said in the beginning of this video, there is an update to the Multiman as well. Uh, so I will be going over that. Let me just turn the volume down here. Ah. <sighs> jumbled all right so here's multi-man uh so let's see let me switch between the views here real quick doop, doop, doop. yeah see new multi-man 8 point or 4.81 available uh all right where's the regular screen there we go all right so if you go to uh file manager real quick and you select your PS3 root. I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm sorry about that. Oh, That's why I wish I had a tripod. Alright, so that dev HDD0 right here. If you install your installation package files um, for uh, your updates, all you're going to do is you're going to put an update folder somewhere inside here and then put those update uh, files inside that update folder so that way when you boot up and uh, you want to swap back and forth between custom firmware you just you know go to system update and you select check system memory but other than that that's it so I quit this and then like I said if you want to install the rebug toolbox which we'll get here in a second just throw that package file on the root of your memory stick pop that back in your ps3 and then, because Rebug firmware is real nice and convenient, you just go to uh, Package Manager here and uh, open that up. And then you just select Install Package Files. And that's that. And then you can also manage your PlayStation Network content, which there is none. So that's cool. Even though I have a whole shit ton of it right here. But that's for another day. So that's it. So rate, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. And again, uh, this is the CEX based version. If you don't know how to use DEX, don't install it. So that's that. And I apologize for the wobbly screen.